yeah today i am going to discuss the aws iot integration in as simple steps so basically uh, what we need to follow few steps uh, for the security uh, of our iot devices the steps are uh, you can see from this figure uh, the, you have to follow these simple steps only uh, one uh, there are two parts one is from the aws part uh, for what are the protocols we need to manage and from the iot part what are the protocol i need to manage now from the AWS part, either I can access it through the AWS Management Console or AWS Software Development Kit. Software Development Kit is an SDK which you can install and uh, it's a CLI, uh, command line interface uh, through which through writing the uh, codes and commands you can access the um, IoT devices. Now in case of IoT, uh, we have to first create the IAM policy in AWS. IAM policy is the integration access management through which it will give an user an authentication uh, that for, uh, for what extent you will be given the access. So the, if uh, in a simpler uh, way, if I want to tell you if in a company has subscribed to an uh, AWS uh, resource management, uh, and if the company has multiple numbers of employees, now all the employees will not be given the same privilege to access all the data. So for suppose one uh, set of employees is given to access the AWS IoT, so that case I have to create that IAM policy that okay, I will be given that much of IAM um, access and authentication grant. So from the user's level, I have to create the IAM policy first. Now my next step is to uh, register my device uh, with the IoT sensors. Uh, now what are the sensors you want to register uh, with your device that you need to uh, check uh, through this option. Now after the device registry, uh, you, you now your device is connected with the um, uh, IoT and also your IAM policy is set. Now immediately one device shadow will be created. Device shadow is basically the virtual miniature version of the sensors. Whatever the sensor data will be generated and uh, each of the users have to subscribe uh, to a particular topic to get those data. Now if I am the user like this mobile, here the mobile device is the user. Now the mobile device will subscribe to a particular topic. Now whatever data is generated, device shadow will capture this one and uh, based on the topic, uh, the subscribe topic, it will publish all those data to the intended user in the mobile app. Now, the device shadow after getting the data, it can send the data directly to the mobile apps if we don't require any further analysis of the data or if we don't want to uh, make some action on the data, that case I can connect uh, directly to the mobile app and I can send the data. Or if I want to make some analysis using the integrated available, uh, available apps uh, in AWS IoT, that case I can perform those operations uh, 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 through AWS IoT. Now the data will be sent to the AWS rules and action. Here the set of rules will be written over there. Means that if I want to um, store the data in AWS, uh, AWS, that case I can store either in AWS DynamoDB or I can store in AWS RDS. So that rule will be written over there. Or if I want to execute on the data, that case I can go through AWS Lambda. If I want to analyze the data, that case I can use uh, uh, AWS SageMaker or if I uh, if I am taking the video streaming data and I want to analyze the video streaming data that case I can use AWS CloudFormation. So there are several applications are there you can integrate all those applications. Even if you want to send an alarm uh, in terms of an email uh, that case you can use the AWS Amazon SMS uh, simple notification services. So it depends upon you, that is why this AWS IoT is much more uh, useful uh, rather than uh, sending the data directly to the mobile app because your mobile app may get the same kind of data or some of the data may be spurious. So uh, it will not be easier for you to analyze those data in the mobile app. Rather if it goes through the AWS IoT and uh, go through the analysis process and uh, as per your intended 
um, applications or as per your requirement, the data uh, can be sent to you in your mobile app. Okay, so these are the uh, step by step uh, feature uh, um, that we need to follow in uh, in terms of AWS IoT. Now let us see uh, that how to create uh, your AWS IoT IAM policy as well as how to register your device in the AWS IoT. Now I have an AWS Educate account, so I am logging into AWS Educate account. Those who don't have Educate account, they can log in through AWS console. So AWS Educate is provided to the university educators and students uh, through which uh, the students will get some credit voucher per semester uh, which they can utilize to um, complete their lab assignments and practicals and even the projects also. So this semester we have been given $100 credit voucher to utilize it for our cloud-based laboratory work now go to AWS services go to AWS IoT so there are several IoT services are there I will take the IoT code now as you can remember that first step I told about to create the IAM role Okay, before that, let us let me show you uh, that we have already few IoT devices that we have uh, installed in the T Garden. So that data we are getting uh, in runtime. Here you can see that right now successfully 12 uh, nodes are there. 20 nodes we have placed over there. Eight nodes are right now in a dormant mode. And uh, what type of uh, protocols they are using? 92% are using MQTT and uh, 63% messages are ping messages, publish messages, and subscribe messages, and how many inbound messages, how many outbound messages are there. So all kind of details, uh, you can uh, find it out. And the message publish data and the shadow updates, uh, so all those data, you can check it runtime. Even you can integrate it to a mobile interface or through an app interface, or uh, this data, you can uh, directly send it um, to uh, ThingSpeak or uh, uh, the, uh, and the Blink apps also. You can check all those data. Now, the first, uh, my first job is to create the role. So, go to Secure, then Policies. Here already I have three policies are there. I am creating another policy. My plant water policy six. And okay, now the action. What type of action uh, you should be allowed to? So I am giving that all kinds of IoT actions I am allowed to. Now uh, either you can also select a particular action also like IoT publish or IoT subscribe or IoT connect. So if I give IoT star means all kind of actions I have been allowed. Now the resource ARN, uh, the already one ARN, uh, ARN is basically kind of URL uh, to access uh, your IoT gateway or uh, to access your IoT cloud engine. Now if you give the resource ARN only, those who have the resource ARN, they are only allowed to access uh, your IoT portal. Now, if you want to open it, means if you want to open the gateway, that is what you can do that. Or uh, rather, if you don't want to remember the resource here, you can put it as star. That case, uh, enter resource here is allowed for you. Though the security features will be breaches in that case, but uh, for your testing purpose, I am putting at star. You can give the resource here also. Now I have created my plant water policy 6 and this is the ARN number. Okay, so for what purposes I, uh, that is set in my IAM role that is allow IoT star and star, uh, that's it. Now I have to register. 
my IoT devices. Now I have to create the IoT which IoT I need to register my Raspberry Pi 6. Now I need to select any type. Next. Now I have to create a certificate as uh, the device has been registered now. Uh, the both parties should have the public key and private key uh, access uh, so that uh, there should not be any security breach. On if those who have uh, those private key and public key combination, they can only uh, they, uh, okay. Now the certificate is created. Uh, after creating the certificate, you have to download the certificate. and also activate the certificate. Okay. Now you have to attach the policy. Okay, fine. So our IAM role creation and registering the my um, devices and with our uh, with respect to uh, the respective um, the rule and also uh, the cryptographic um, uh, key also have been set so all everything has been done now we have to test that whether the connection is okay or not now before testing we have to put the ARN number so and we will test it uh, through the MQTT client that we have to put that uh, the subscription topic what type of subscription you need and you have to publish the topic based on this the data will go to the device shadow the device shadow as already i told it's a miniature version of uh, the iot devices which will take the data and also distribute the data as per the user requirement now uh, to get the arn number of your uh, device uh, arn number so you have to go to manage Then thing RPI rule six and get the ARN number. Now take the ARN number, go to test. Subscribe to topic. Publish the topic. Okay, fine. Now uh, we have published also. Now uh, if uh, we find out that the data is coming um, regularly, now if we find out that if any uh, data uh, which is uh, not uh, maintaining the threshold value, so that case what will happen? So it will send one uh, SNS or the uh, or the mail notification. Uh, to my email. So for that we need to set the SNS also. So our next job is to uh, create a rule uh, or set of actions uh, if the soil moisture is low and what type of information uh, should be passed uh, through the SNS notification. So for that I, we have to go to app then create a rules, create your own rule. My RPI rule six gives the rule description. Soil moisture level alert. Define that add an action and send a message as an SNS push notification if you want to get it the SMS or email notification and configure the action select a topic same my RPI alert message format let us take it as a JSON format create role My RPI policy six. Okay, now that policy is attached with that one. Uh, 
Now add the action. Okay. Now uh, the action is added. Now you have to go to SNS to add uh, this action with your SNS notification services so that it can get activated. So go to SNS. Let us see that uh, the topic is there or not. Okay, uh, yes. Create your own topic. the message what type of message you need soil moisture allow time to leave you can give it uh, because the message if multiple number of messages are coming it will go to a queue now they need to know that to how long they should remain in the queue so I am uh, putting it as a default message okay. so Give one message that uh, the file moisture level has caused threshold value. Okay. Now create a subscription for that means that you need to send uh, through a subscribe protocol so either you can send it through http or https or email or email json what format so if i want to send it to email in that case you have to give your email address on which address it should go and that email address needs to subscribe with that particular topic so if you create the subscription immediately you will receive one notification in your email So I received that notification, uh, which is the current one, zero minutes ago. Okay, this one. So yes, you have chosen to subscribe to this topic, my RPI alarm six. Now, if you want to confirm the subscription, confirm this one, then only you will be sent the message. Okay. So this is all about the five-step configuration system uh, that is required uh, for your uh, entire. AWS IoT uh, through simple notification service. Now, if you go to your IoT, you can uh, check your system and also you can monitor it. Um, what are the system is connected uh, with your machine and uh, what type of data are passing? You can see that total 80 machines are successfully connected. Okay. Now, what protocol? MQTT protocols are sent for 91%. HTTP is for 8%. And 60% uh, are seeing messages, published messages are 5%, and 27% messages are subscribed message. And 50% is outbound and 50% is inbound message. So this message will come to you continuously in your system. If you want to connect it, uh, because this is the device shadow or data. Now if you want to get the data uh, in your mobile, in that case, you have to connect it, uh, connect it to, to your mobile. So thank you all for this. Class.